हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इन्फो आइलैंड इस वीडियो में आज हम कंटिन्यू करेंगे कुछ ईडियम्स और फ्रेजेस के बारे में ईडियम्स एंड फ्रेजेस पर बेस्ड ये वीडियो हमारा पार्ट टू वीडियो है पार्ट वन देखने के लिए आप डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में दिए गए लिंक पर क्लिक करके पार्ट वन वीडियो को चेक कर सकते हैं ईडियम्स एंड फ्रेजेस के क्वेश्चन बहुत कॉमन होते हैं और ऑलमोस्ट हर इंग्लिश ओरिएंटेड एग्जाम में हमें देखने को मिलते ही मिलते हैं इसीलिए इनके बारे में हमें पता होना बहुत जरूरी होता है एंड दैट इज अ मस्ट फॉर ऑल द एस्पायरेंस सो लेट्स नो अबाउट सम ऑफ देम फर्दर इन द वीडियो लेट्स गो ओके सो बिफोर गेटिंग इन टू ईडियम्स एंड फ्रेजेस लेट्स फर्स्ट नो वॉट ईडियम्स एंड फ्रेजेस आर ऑल अबाउट so idioms are expressions that demonstrate human behaviors reactions on certain things social traits habits and traditions the candidates who are aspiring for any of the ssc or ibps recruitment exams must have an ample knowledge of these idioms and phrases in order to obtain high scores in ssc english or ibps english sections well learning idioms and phrases for competitive exam is not a tough task for any of us any student who has enough knowledge of english can understand their meanings easily so now let's begin with some of the top idioms and phrases that are for competitive exams number 1 in cold blood which means deliberately and without emotion as we commonly use this cold thing you know cold blooded uh, person we say in order to you know say that this particular person is without any emotion emotionless and blah 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 so we refer to that person as he is a cold blooded person next is a thorn in the flesh which means a constant source of annoyance next is a smell a red which means suspect something foul or something not likable next is harp on the same string which means dwell on the same subject next is bury the hatchet which means to end the quarrel and make peace just bury the hatchet you know just end the fight that is going on and just make some peace next is like a fish out of water which means in a strange situation next is at one's back and call which means under his control next is to make both ends meet which means to live within one's income next is in hot water which means in trouble next is nip in the bud which means destroy in the early stage next is stick to one's guns which means remain faithful to the cause next one is to eat humble pie which means to apologize humbly and to yield under humiliating circumstances next is in high spirits which means very happy this is again a commonly used idioms and phrase uh, when we say when a particular person is very happy he or she is uh, uh, you know bound to say that i am in high spirits right now i am very happy right now next is put the cart before the horse which means to put or do things in the wrong order next is to all names which means to abuse next is on tenter hooks which means in a state of suspense and anxiety next is to bell the cat which means to face the risk next is a hard nut to crack again a very common idioms and phrase that we use a hard nut to crack means a very difficult problem next is let the cat out of the bag which means reveal a secret next is a big gun which means an important person next is 
kill two birds with one stone again a very common used which means to achieve two results with one effort you are killing two birds at the same time with just one stone by achieving two results with just a single effort next is take one to task which means to rebuck next is to gain ground which means to become popular next is to blow one's own which means to praise one's own trumpet achievement next is a bosom friend which means a very close friend next is a brown study which means dreaming of something next is turn the deaf ear which means disregard or ignore what one particular person says so if you are ignoring the person who is speaking about something or you are disregarding you are turning a deaf ear to that person next is a close shave which means a narrow escape next is to turn over a new leaf which means change for the betterment next is make up one's mind which means decide yes again a very common one next in the long run meaning eventually ultimately in the end next is bring to light which means disclose something next is to pay off old scores which means you know taking revenge we are you are paying off the old scores that you had you are taking revenge of something next is hard and fast rules again a very common which means strict rules next is at the 11th hour which means at the last moment next is a close shave which means a narrow escape next is to cut a sorry figure which means to make a poor show next is with a high hand which means oppressively next is burn one's fingers which means get into trouble by interfering in others affairs next one uh, laugh one's head off we which means uh, laugh heartily next is to chew the cud which means uh, ponder over something next is to play second fiddle which means to take an important to take an unimportant part next is above board which means honest and open next is through thick and thin which means under all conditions be it anything next is put a spoke in one's wheel which means to upset one's plans next is at sixes and sevens which means in a disordered disorganized manner which is also known as chaotic next one is to wash one's dirty linen which means to discuss unpleasant talks in public private matters before strangers next is at home which is again very uh, common which means comfortable so when we are comfortable with something we commonly use that i feel i am at home i feel home you know i feel homely something like that next one is alpha and omega which is again a very commonly used phrase which means the beginning and the end so the next and the last phrase for this video leave one in the lurch which means desert one in difficulties which means uh, you are leaving one in a helpless condition you you know okay guys so that was all about this particular video of idioms and phrases part 2 we will be coming uh, further with the video of idioms and phrases part 3 very very soon till then just thank you so much for watching the video i hope aapko video acha lage and agar aapko video acha laga to please hamare is video ko like kare share kare aur hamare channel ko zyada se zyada subscribe kare till then keep learning keep sharing and keep supporting our channel as you already guys are doing